Why, hello there, my fellow dwarves. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Dwarf Fortress Taming the Wilds, Episode 21, Battlements. So the Iron Dwarves are still off duty. I'm hoping that they're, like, getting happier. You think it's more like the Shroud of Turin? I don't know what it is. All I know is it's worth a lot of money. That is a considerable amount of wealth for like one item, one object. It's also going to attract some people that want to steal it, I am sure. That's kind of how that works. Getting a wee bit tired of my... Uh... I guess they're all just like struggling hauling that wood. That's yeah, pretty much what's going on right now. Are temples open to the public? They are not. They're open to long-term residents only, and I basically don't accept long-term residents. Citizens and long-term residents should be the case for all of them. I'll double-check them, though. Yep, they're all citizens and long-term residents only. So there's not really a risk of, um, of, a. Uh, a tricksy thief coming in and uh, and wiping my wealth out because we have it locked down a bit. Oh, good. Now six super unhappy. I don't know. I don't really understand how I'm failing these guys. I think it's just all that miasma that they were and and the injuries that they suffered, and we're still dealing with the uh, the ramifications of that. But hopefully the uh, monotonous labor that we have going on right now uh, will balance out once we get some more immigrants. Because I think that's uh, probably a big factor is people are just very um, overworked and not enough time for socialization. Not a lot of people to even socialize with. So these are all things that uh, will get worked out in time. Whoa. Thank you, aggressive panning. So I'm just changing the way this central trade location is uh, built up with, rather than walls, um, just colored floors. And sort of a crosshair style. So much wood. But yeah, this is this is slowly filling up. The other thing is I have kaolinite here. So with that kaolinite, let's make some clay crafts. Using up the kaolinite, selling it. Because we've been making uh, kaolinite porcelain crafts and then um, selling it. That's been sort of our main export. I got my jet. So soon I'll have the jet blocks that I need for the floor. And the idea is to uh, to store the booze in the center here. So I will start erasing it from everywhere else. And that way we start hauling the booze that's back here to the center so that people sort of it's a it's a sort of a natural meeting spot. And that way they socialize while they drink. They just don't dr drink alone. And then the tavern here still has a 7x7 seven seven dance floor in the back. Back here. The other thing I could do is to make one more cob, which is a uh, an instrument. I'll make one more cob so it's a bit symmetrical. So let's get that going. Make... No. Nope. Uh, where's the cob? Yep, make a cob out of cinnabar. And stop making cinnabar blocks. Yeah, I like the way this looks. It's better than the walls, I think. More open. Who 
took this as an opportunity to just drop their shield here. What the heck? And it's a nice shield, too. <laughs> a superior quality steel shield, and they're just like, thunk, time to drink. God. True dwarf style. Uh, we did just got a bunch of immigrants. I just noticed. So we have an animal trainer new arrival. Herbalist, planner, planner. Um, with all of the planners and herbalists I have, I bet I'm going to get a farming guild relatively soon. Uh, another child. I think I'm going to boot out the monster slayer, though. The human monster slayer. Sorry, dude. You're expelled. What happened to that one badly injured dwarf? Uh, that's a good question. I think he's fine now. No, he's healing up. Not fine, but, but healing. Recover. So pop 37. Let's uh, designate some bedrooms. So any empty bedroom that I see here, I can just give. There's a... There's a Multiple ways to give bedrooms. I th I find it faster just to like click through them really quickly and find the empty ones. But uh, eventually, once I have a ton of people, uh, this is going to become more labor intensive and less productive. And then we can... Oh, no. This isn't your bedroom anymore. Then there's a different way to do it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is uh, get another barracks for Axe Dwarves. Um, I would like for there to be two different Axe Dwarves squads now that the population is starting to go back up so that I can switch between the two on who is on duty and who isn't. And initially, I'm going to manage this manually, but in the long run, I'll probably do it somewhat automatically. Um, that way... We always have Axe Dwarves in armor with weapons at the ready. And then another, the other squad, the alt, alt squad, um, can rest. So with some of the new people that have just joined, I'm going to be th getting them into armor and getting them trained up. The other thing I wanted to do is to check if any new person... So I, I essentially lost all of my Marks Dwarves. Like, anyone that had any hunting capabilities died from that, um, that, that, uh, that thief. I don't worry about, I'm, I'm not worried about Fisher Dwarves at the moment, because I don't have need of, uh, fishing. I would say... Okay, we didn't really get anyone skilled in skills that I needed, but that's fine. And we have uh, another artifact thief uh, fleeing. That's what that message was. Live to fight another day, he says. Like, if you didn't just announce yourself, uh, you would have been fine, but okay. Oh, right. Um, I screwed this up. So, I can't put the floors down because of the booze in the way, so I gotta fix that. Sorry. I know you just moved this booze, but uh, guess what? You're moving it back. So I can put floors in. Floor. They don't actually have to move it back. I just need to remove the the zoning designation so I can actually put the floors down. But we still haven't cut any of the jet that I dug up down here. So that's what we're waiting on. I don't see a cut jet. Which would explain a lot. I think we didn't have any cut jet, jet block because I ran out. And they cancelled the queue because I didn't have any. So the current priority is still, yeah, it really hasn't changed. Um, I'm close to redesigning the, the tavern, 
And then once the tavern gets redesigned, um, I want to train up a second squad and then uh, focus on moods so that we don't have anyone moody, we don't have tantrums or anything like that. And if that means expelling some people, um, so be it. I'm not going to be too fussed to to try to cater to a cranky few, you know? So I am going to change my pop cap now from 40 to, let's say, 48. I don't want to go up to 50 yet because 50 means I become the next tier size. So I'm going to keep it small purposefully for now. Smaller than 50. I'm not ready to hit that 50 mark. But 48 should allow um, immigrants and migrants next season, I think. I hope. Oh, I keep doing that. I still need more jet. With the added labor, with the nine more people that just joined, we should get more of the wood hauled. And as you can see, almost all the wood that's in the pasture has been hauled away. This pasture used to be pretty full, and now it actually looks more like a pasture, which is good. But there's still so, so much wood left to be hauled. So the, wow, that still hasn't been linked. The pasture bridge lever never got linked to the pasture. Lazy. Get it done. This temple's barely been engraved at all. Uh, I think the immigrants also brought in some extra animals, because I see that there's a random animal <laughs> wandering around, so let me make some nest boxes for them out of shale. And figure out uh, what animals I've got. Go topside. So they brought in a donkey and uh, a turkey. The turkey looks like a pet. But that turkey... Is it male or female? Okay, it's uh, male. So I'm going to put in the top pasture instead of the next box because male turkeys don't lay eggs. I'll still want nest boxes eventually when we add additional egg layers. But keeping them separate means they won't be fertilized either, which is nice. Fat Monkey, thank you for the follow. And Magister uh, Nemo, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome to the welcome to the uh, the lovely fortress. Oh, and you subbed. Cheers. I'll drink to that. Oh, good. I had enough beds for all of that. And doors. And somehow I had enough cabinets, too. I think only because we had a large stockpile of cabinets last I queued them up. Because I think that my cabinet queue here... Only has me making like one or two at a time. I wish there was an easy way to search. Uh, shell cabinets make three. Make three when we have less than ten. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, actually, we're making a lot of cabinets, which is fine. Oh, you're YouTube frog. And your fat monkey here? Man, that is confusing. But uh, ribbit to you. <laughs>
and we'll do some smoothing out so they're at least slightly nicer. How many current bedrooms do I have empty? So here's how you would normally check. You go to zones. So down here, places, zones, and then you can see all the bedrooms. So I have bedroom four doesn't have an occupant, but all the other bedrooms are full. I do have a dorm, and not everybody needs bedrooms. Having them sleep in a dorm is fine. They're okay with it. Obviously, bedrooms are better. And because I'm trying to work on their moods, bedrooms are ideal. Um, at this point, I would say I'm going to make a new squad. So I'm going to make a new Axe Dwarf squad. The Cobalt Conflicts. Sure. Uh, I'm going to sign a leader, and this is going to be an immigrant that just came in. So... This animal trainer, also joined by this presser, and I'm going to double check the dwarves that I picked to make sure that they're not completely uh, wrong choices here. So we have Wacom, Fath, and Shurast. Uh, and then you guys are going to be constantly training. So, uh, let's set up the second barracks for that. So it's going to be, this is going to be squad two barracks. Or melee squad one, so I'll just melee squad two. And this is for the Cobalt Conflicts. Whereas this was for the Iron Dwarves. I'll probably rename Cobalt Conflicts at some point. And then they can also use the same training room. Training rooms don't have to be just for one squad. So the melee squads and the ranged squads will share the same training facilities, but different barracks. What's the rationale behind two beds per bedroom? Uh, that way, if there's couples, uh, they can sleep together. At the, they can sleep in the bedrooms at the same time. So there's some couples in the colony. And so they don't have to figure out who's a couple and who's not and then have different bedrooms or whatever. It's easy to just be like, eh, whatever, every bedroom gets two beds. So here's an example of like Aineth and Muldrath are married or whatever. And if they both want to sleep at the same time, uh, one of them would have to sleep in the dorm if the other was in the bed. So it's not needed, but it's nice. Why haven't we moved these teeth? What is going on? Dump the teeth, please. Pick the teeth up and throw it off the bridge. It's like a wishing well, but it's wishing teeth. Alright, so here's the boost stockpile. The left side's done. Or the right side is done, rather. Let's do the left side now. Ah, I keep screwing that up. The, re the reason I keep screwing it up is um, for my furniture, I specify the material, so... In order to make it faster, I just go, ah, use whatever material, because I know all of my beds are pine and all of my furniture are shale. But for the floors, uh, obviously that's not the case. And I just keep forgetting to switch the two. And these are bedrooms getting laid out for when new migrants come in. And then eventually we'll get down to these bedrooms too. So much lower priority. I'm going to set this as smooth seven. Actually, maybe not even. It's really hard to build when you have smoothing queued because you can't see what the heck's going on in there. So here's my new uh, dwarves. The other thing that just occurred to me just now is uh, I don't have a make a steel battle axe. Q. So, forge steel battle axes, forge one if we have less than three. So that I have spare battle axes in stock, because none of these dudes have battle axes at the moment. They're just punching each other, or whatever. I don't even know what kind of drills they're running, but I can tell that they don't have axes. All right, and there's the cob that I wanted. And this is done. So now all the booze in the 
brewery is going to be stored in the center, and that way people drink near one another. At least that's the hope. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, but that means that the description of the tavern redesign is done. So haul wood to stockpile, remove all bridges, and prep for more dwarves. So the prep for more dwarves is train up a second squad and um, have bedrooms and the like. But we're still we're still doing the wood hauling. The wood hauling is almost done, as you can tell, because there's not a lot of space left here for for wood. That also means the top side should be pretty clean. And yeah, it's it's much cleaner than it was. I kind of went crazy and went all lumberjack. More than I needed to. Did the switch ever get linked? Yes. So the Br Brook Bridge lever links to the Brook Bridge, and the Pasture Bridge lever links to nothing. What? What? Oh, because I have it on pause. I'm not using this melon. This melon is smooth. Smooth as my floors in my great hall. I did figure it out, though, so there's some credit due. Who left their shoe in here? Or ugh, who stripped? Oh, probably one of the soldiers. <laughs> when I told them to conscript, they're just like, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm naked now. That's how they like to get dressed. It's frustrating. I do have those silver statues that uh, Countess ordered, so let's get down to the Countess room and stick those in. She'll be more satisfied with statues. So it's a statue of a scorpion and a statue of a dwarf. Some strange stuff. So once we increase our population, the long-term plan, if you're wondering, is to grow the population, get them happy, and then start going into the caverns once I have a military force. That's that's the long-term plan. Um, I knew that I needed a better trained military force before I start messing with the caverns. So before we really go deep into the caverns, I'm gonna need to build some defensive redundancies uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of projects that have to come first. Check task lists for other pause jobs. I don't believe there are any besides the smelter, and that's intentional. Uh, but I can start to unpause that now that the wood stockpile is basically full. I don't know why. Is my armorsmith actually armorsmithing though? Because I have a lot of armorsmithing stuff queued up. Throw a knight, I'm going to lock to force him into... Oh, no, that's blacksmith. Uh, the fisher dwarf. I don't want to lock. Well, no, I'm going to lock it. So that it gets more armor made. There we go. Now you can see that they stand around one another when they drink. Um, so hopefully that encourages... Uh, encourages them to uh to socialize when they're uh when they're in there because that's that's one of the uh commonly unmet needs that i've seen that will encourage fighting at all at least right now um it's citizens only so if we do fight it's on us right like it's our fault um because before, when I didn't have citizens only, it was like the stupid mace dwarf started like swing his mace at my my own dwarves, and that's not so cool. Uh, interestingly, you have a battle axe, but the other squad doesn't. I don't see any spare battle axes in here, though. So I think that's what we're waiting on. 
Forge Steel Battle Axe. All requirements are met, but like nobody has done it. I'm just making sure that these forges aren't like. No, they're not work restricted. I hope they get around to it soon. So there's only a few more spots for wood. That's good. That means as soon as the wood stockpile is full, my dwarves will start to do other tasks because there won't be tasks to do here. So some of the dolomite is going to be hauled to the fluxstone and some of the kaolinite is going to be turned into porcelain craft. And then, of course, all the ores are going to be smelted. And same with the coal. Uh, but it does mean that a much higher percentage of my dwarves do other things and not just... Oh, no, never mind. The dolomite's full. <laughs> we don't need a haul there. Uh, that sock got moved, finally. Oh, yeah. How much prepared food do I have? It's way too much. 378. Alright, we're well set up with food and drink for now. I'm not exactly sure why... Oh, the Forge Steel Battle Axe is just nested. Do I have steel bars? I'm trying to figure out why they haven't started on that. No, I have 48 steel bars. Nope, they're already hauling steel. So it's fine. Nothing wrong with that queue. I don't know why the work orders are putting them all on one. In fact, maybe I can cancel these and have them spread out to other uh, other forges. Okay, it's full. So if we take a look at the tasks... Hauling to fuel, ore, temporary wood, overflow, weapons and armor, metalsmithing, and smelting, stonework, kilns, and stills. Oh, no, the stills are frozen. I'm going to keep that pause for now. But um, that means that we are ready for other goals, I think. Oh, and, and here is uh, the brook froze over because it's winter. Looks cool right where the bridge is. Obviously, this bridge doesn't do anything. Um, during the uh, the winter, but when this bridge, this brook bridge gets pulled up, uh, it acts as a wall, and still outside enemies won't be able to, to gain access to the slope that gets down to the moat. So even in the even in the winters, it works. Uh, I am going to destroy these side pieces here. Because I don't like the way they look. What biome I am? Am I in uh, like a temperate forest? I'm down uh, here in sort of a temperate foresty area. It does freeze it in the winter, but it's relatively warm. I think the moods are improving. I had like 11 unhappy and they're slowly moving to happiness. It's a it's a long process. But I think what I'm going to do is poll you guys about what next big priority to work on. Production, community, military or beautification is those four big choices. So this is the first poll of the stream and you guys can pick. Dog treats, sure thing. Hey bud. No, all of this stuff is being queued up to the same one. Um, I 
I'm gonna see if this helps to limit the amount of work orders on one place. See if that works. I'm a newbie. So, some things I have to stumble around to figure out. As long as it gets done. Uh, my metal bar stockpile, I'm going to increase the amount of bins. What does this say? 7x7, seven seven, so 49. So I'm going to say 48 bins. Uh, in the ore, I'm going to say zero bins. And how heavy is this? The ores, I think they're pretty heavy. Oh, God. No, that's the wheelbarrow. Yeah, they're really heavy. So maybe two wheelbarrows. You have an agreement with the elves. How did you chop down so many trees? So I chopped down the trees before I had the agreement with the elves, knowing that the elves were going to come back as I became a baroness and make demands on me. So I preemptively just like chopped down tons and tons of trees. So that I, it, I wouldn't be uh, messed with by them. Are there axes? So the easiest way to check is there are axes. Still battle axe, still battle axe, still battle axe, still battle axe, still battle axe. Okay, all right, all right. The, the military dwarves are just lazy and they haven't picked up their axes. Assign uniform, axe dwarves. There we go. I just had to like reset it. So they're being dumb. I am going to go ahead and assign my new Axe Dwarves um, names, but I'm going to assign them for my Patreon patrons. So I have pre-picked three patrons through raffling to be named, and uh, let's get that done. So first one will be Locum Tossed something or another. You. And you're going to be Mass. Mass, the uh, Axe Dwarf Captain. All right. Next one is Shorast. You're going to be Mega Hoof, the Axe Dwarf. And then we've got you, and you're going to be. Zach Naffian, the Axe Door. Uh, I also, let me hide my overlay so you can actually see things. Uh, I'm going to rename their, their squad. So this is going to be... The Axe Taxes. <laughs> the Axe... Killers. Sure. All right, Axe Killers. That has your background red and your symbol black. There you go. The Axe Killers. Works for me. So we have the Iron Dwarves and the Axe Killers. Uh, the Axe Killers will probably go on break soon. So I'm going to say Iron Dwarves, you get red. Uh... Actually, I'm going to have the Iron Dwarves be on break a little bit longer because the Iron Dwarves are the ones that are most upset. Um, but I should also name them. So we have Malful, Doran, and Zach Dyer. So Malful and Doran are going to get renamed after you guys here in a another raffle. So here's the second raffle. And you guys want me to work on military and defenses. So current priority project is set up defenses for the caverns. Where's the middle statue? It's a it's a slug. So I'm going to do a few things actually. I I, I sort of take it back. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a way for my range units to start shooting.
So I'm going to give, I'm designing this in such a way that my ranged units will have uh, access to these fortifications from inside the base so that in the case of an incursion, uh, I can react and defend. And then I'm going to be doing the same for the cavern entryway. And there's a lot of other side projects that I want to include in this as well. Um, with this defense. But that's that's a big one. So in this defense, I'm going to mine this out and replace it with walls. And then actually mine it deeper as well. Um, to match sort of the same design. So we have one, two, how, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, got it. So that's going to have to change. Or I could put the door there. Maybe I'll put the door here. The top of the bridge or something. There we go. Now they have axes. Are they all actually equipped? Uh, now we're missing some legs and some boots and some gauntlets, but, but mostly, mostly equipped. Not bad. Uh, shale blocks, I'm going to need some of those. So let's unpause the repeating, make shale blocks. Bedrooms are not any closer to being smoothed out, which is unfortunate. Uh, because we finally hauled the wood in, let me also get rid of this north bridge. And that's because that north bridge is a huge vulnerability. And then I'm also going to get rid of um, these stairs here for the same reason. They're a big vulnerability. And that's going to require anyone that wants to exit the base to go through the whole rigmarole of going down the ramp and around and then back up. And that's for security. Oh, hey, they're already up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, So these spots here are going to be spots that only inside of my burrow has access to. So there are going to be defensive tunnels. So this is inside my burrow, right? This is basically the bedrooms. And they can path through these tunnels to get up to these shooting galleries uh, where the enemies won't be able to path to. That's kind of the idea. Uh, Joe Robot, congratulations. You are now the militia captain. The other one. This one. And you are the ex-dwarf captain. You're also not wearing clothes. So maybe you should put some clothes on. I don't know what's going on with you. And then the other ex-dwarf is Zach Dyer. I already have one. Uh, polar bear. The one polar bear. So that would be Doran. Who is going to go crazy any second now. But uh, hopefully you stick around. We'll see. And you're an ex-dwarf. But congrats to you two. I'm 
also going to put walls around the perimeter of all of this. Just for beauty. Aesthetically beautiful, uh, aesthetically beautiful and increasingly efficient. I'm a new player, so I don't know how, like, meta this is, but that's the thing, is, like, because I taught myself only more or less through the wiki and through experimentation, I don't know what is meta for Dwarf Fortress, for better or for worse, meaning that, um, that essentially my solutions are unique or at least not intentionally copycatted because I have no idea what's supposed to work and what isn't. I'm just too new. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I'm trying to make something that looks beautiful, something that I enjoy looking at, but uh, but also so that I can remain protected because I do know that in Dwarf Fortress it's very easy just to have your colony deleted from one big monster if you're not ill-prepared. That's why I'm trying to keep my population under 50 because I have noticed anecdotally that typically you start to get a lot more people to attack you once you are wealthier and more populous. So I'm trying to avoid colony collapse by uh, keeping the pop low. And then I was also, over here, I was also just replacing some of the natural walls with um, shell block ones. Again, for looks. Natural walls are, are totally fine. Now the clincher here is that for my defenses to work, I need um, Mark's Dwarves that, like, don't suck. And I would say that the ones I've had for now have sucked. So, because uh, they're dead, right? They didn't do what they needed to do, so we'll see. How about Rurik? Sure. Rurik works. If I could hit delete. What is this? Bronze bow? Melted. We don't need no bows. Elven garbage. <laughs> and human, I guess. There's a lot of weapons that dwarves can't make. They can use, but they can't make. Because they're not of dwarf make. Like, like bows. Unless you count. Uh, well, yeah. Hey, Bit. How you doing today? You're playing Core Keeper. Cool. Well, welcome to the stream, man. And welcome all you raiders as well. I'm going to pet the dogs at the same time. Kind of a pat my head and rub my belly type situation. So I think for the the mining shaft, uh, for now at least, I might actually. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this. What what is this gap? I think this is a nine gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gap. And I've only have an eight gap here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would need to move this shell block floor over one if I want it symmetrical, which uh, I I do. I do want it symmetrical. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put doors in. And it's going to look a little different, but I'm going to put doors in here. This is going to be a wall with the turquoise door put positioned here. Um, so that the bridge can bridge the gap. So not only do we have a bridge, we also have a door. But the door is going to come first. All right, so delete and delete and remove. Pet him more. Hi, bud. I think he's a little cold, actually. Oh. <laughs> 
It's going under. And let's put that wonderful damage proof turquoise door uh, there. And then I'll have to re-link it up to this mine door lever. Eyes look extra large because his fur is so short. He'll grow into his, his own skin soon. He won't look ridiculous forever. Alright, so mine door linked. Did the other one get linked? Yeah, pasture. Yeah, pasture is linked too. Speaking of pasture, if we channel these out, there will be no shortcuts. Or, eh, hmm. I'm not going to channel them out yet. I'm going to destroy the jet uh, stairwell underneath it. But yeah, the, the full proper moat is uh, designed now. So that anyone coming in, this is the only path in, this bridge, and they have to come all the way around. Give me plenty of time to react. Let's dig these channels. And that stops uh, enemies from using these channels to shortcut now. Multitask. Oh. Hey! Joe Robot, you're having a... You're, you're possessed. <laughs> a good kind of possession. Let's hope you're making something useful. So you can see the security tunnels here. And eventually I plan on having security tunnels where the uh, bar is as well. He claimed the carpenter's workbench. He claimed this one. There's no uh, ingredients yet, but wood is wood is wood. It doesn't really matter which wood he picks. It's mostly true. Wood does have weights, but... So, certain woods are better for certain things. But for the most part, I don't care what he grabs as material. Just as long as I have it available. So now you can see that there is physically no access to get to here from the bridge. So if I pull the bridge up and there's enemies here, I can shoot at them and they can't do anything about that. You planted too many crops in Core Keeper and your GPU nearly melted? <laughs> it reminds me I need to replace my uh, CPU cooler. I bought a replacement, but then I threw out my back, and I haven't been able to actually do the the physical uh, replacing, which is long overdue, because certain games cook my, my uh, CPU a bit. It's one of the issues of having AIO coolers. Oh, uh, yeah, that needs to be pulled right now. I just realized that they linked the door, but anyone on the right side of the mining corridor is stuck down here. I don't think anyone's down here, I hope. Because they've been stuck for a while. No, no one's actually down there. But this turquoise door, because it's a artifact, um, I'm going to call this the mining door, is uh, is invulnerable. Oh, no, they wouldn't. Yeah, actually, they would be stuck. Mwahaha! 
is how I would react if I wanted them stuck. And then channel. Once someone pulls that lever. Oh, is this not linked? No, it's linked. Wait, didn't I just tell you to pull the lever? Why isn't the door open? Open the lever. There we go. Let's check on the carpenter here. He's grabbing willow logs, so he's making something out of willow. Why is there dogs down here? Didn't don't I have y'all on pasture? I do. Get out of here. Actually, don't do that. Just channel. Safer. I don't want no collapses. So you can see that this is the formation of a pit that will lead back to the caverns. So when I pull the bridge up, anyone that's stuck on the right side stays on the right side. Uh, taking a look at my drink amount, let's go ahead and unpause the brewing. And then another thing that I need to add in here, if I'm unpausing the brewing, is a stockpile for barrels. So one of the reasons why I have extra room is for the barrels. So brew barrels. And this is going to be furniture and only any material and quality, but only barrels. If I knew my alphabet, I'd find barrels really quickly. There it is. Uh, maybe not artifact barrels. Because I don't need artifact barrels to be filled with booze. They're better as decorations. You know, we had up to six super unhappy, and now it's down to four. I haven't really been addressing the mood, but it's slowly been sort of sorting itself out. And what I'm hoping to do is just brew enough to keep the inside tavern full, but not much more than that. And we can see the spare barrels here. So we have the, the plump helmets and whatever else we're using to brew uh, in these barrels. And then we have the empty barrels here that we brew into. So it's very quick and efficient brewing. That was the design. Thank you for tuning in to Dwarf Fortress Taming the Wilds, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 17th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow dwarves.